Uh, we appreciate you getting all of your live events, breaking news headlines, and of course those top stories from us right here on Live Now from Fox. Uh, a space event coming into our Live Now from Fox Studios, and it takes us out to Kazakhstan. On your screen right now, astronaut Tracy Dyson and some cosmonauts, they are returning home from the International Space Station. Their Soyuz MS-25 spacecraft heading for a parachute-assisted landing there on the Kazakhstan area slated for 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, we do know that Dyson's mission spanned 184 days, 2,944 orbits of the Earth in a journey of 78 million miles. Let's watch this unfold. At this point, uh, the three crew members will be bracing for touchdown. Unintelligible. Touchdown. Right on the money. A textbook touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan at 6.59 a.m. Central Time, 7.59 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.59 p.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan. Tracy Dyson is home after 184 days in space. Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub are home after 374 days in space, a record for an International Space Station mission. With the uh, on-time touchdown by the Soyuz MS-25 and the three crew members back on Earth, the uh, Rosaviatsa Search and Recovery Forces, the Russian Mi-8 helicopters, they will begin uh, to land in sequential fashion to make their way to the spacecraft to begin the process of extracting the crew. You can see uh, in this view on the horizon, there are uh, ground-based vehicles that are making their way towards uh, the spacecraft, as well as uh, the first in a series of Russian Mi-8 helicopters that will be landing. These are the initial uh, recovery personnel from RSC and Energia to begin uh, the process of ensuring that the vehicle is safe and no toxic gases escaping. And then uh, we'll begin the process of opening up the hatch to extract the three crew members who will be placed in chairs near the spacecraft uh, to allow them uh, a few minutes to get their land legs back before they're carried in those chairs to a nearby inflatable medical tent where they will get out of their Sokol launch and entry suits into more comfortable clothing and be taken to three separate helicopters for the two-hour helicopter flight back to the staging city of Karaganda. This view from this uh, all-terrain vehicle uh, will um, be interrupted while this vehicle makes its way to the spacecraft, at which point uh, we should, if all things uh, are proceeding normally, receive video uh, by the spacecraft of the extraction of the crew and the other activities.
Once again, uh, the Soyuz MS-25 uh, made a bullseye landing right on time at 6.59 a.m. Central Time, 7.59 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.59 p.m. at the landing site, 91 miles to the southeast of the remote town of Jazkazgan, Kazakhstan, as planned. Tracy Dyson completing 184 days in space, 2,944 orbits of the Earth, and a mission of 78 million statute miles. Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub wrapped up 374 days in space, 5,984 orbits, 158.6 million statute miles. Oleg Kononenko with today's landing has logged 1,111 days in space on his five flights, an all-time record. And we've just received a report that uh, the Soyuz stuck the landing. It landed upright. So the uh, crew will be extracted out of the top hatch of the Soyuz once uh, a ladder is erected by the recovery personnel along the side of the vehicle. So we'll be standing by for uh, additional video from the landing site once uh, the all-terrain vehicle with the television equipment is repositioned by the Soyuz MS-25. If you're just now tuning in to Live Now from Fox, good morning to you. 808 here on the East Coast, and you are taking a live look out in Kazakhstan this Monday morning. This as astronaut Tracy Dyson and some cosmonauts returned home just moments ago from the International Space Station. Their Soyuz MS-25 spacecraft just completed a successful parachute-assisted landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan. It happened at uh, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, so about nine minutes ago. Dyson concluding her fourth space flight with the landing of the Soyuz. Her mission spanning 184 days, 2,944 orbits of the Earth, and a journey of 78 million miles. We're learning from NASA that while on orbit, she conducted an array of experiments and technology demonstrations that contribute to advancements for humanity on Earth, as well as NASA's trajectory to the Moon and Mars.